welcome or welcome back to the Kia Hyundai channel. My name's Gabby and by the title of this video, this is gonna be a test drive video. First though, I wanted to give you a quick walk around of the beautiful 2023 Kia Forte 5 EX. So the five in Forte, or Forte 5, stands for five doors because this thing's a hatchback. So business in the front, party in the back. I'm gonna show you in our quick walk around. First, we'll start with what's under the hood. It's a two liter MPI four cylinder engine, naturally aspirated. The one trim level above this introduces you to this 1.6 liter turbocharged engine. This one puts 147 horsepower out and 132 pound foot of torque. The fuel efficiency is fantastic. So it is tied to an IVT transmission. That is code word for intelligent variable transmission. It's basically just an automatic, but a little bit more fuel efficient and super responsive. So the fuel efficiency is six liters per hundred kilometers on the highway or eight liters per hundred kilometers in the city. Take a look at the side profile. So we have beautiful 16 inch alloy wheels. This paint color is called Snow White Pearl and it is stunning. In the sunlight, you get a lot of the pearly elements. So a lot of shine, a lot of sparkle. Come around to the back, there's your hatchback. So with the hatchback, as opposed to the regular Forte, you get a little bit more for small cargo space. So let's open that up. We did do a full walk around of this vehicle. So if you're curious for a more in-depth look, we'll link it in our description. You can get a better look. But today's video is gonna focus on test driving. We'll come around to the side here, get another good look at all the styling elements. It's a very sporty looking vehicle. I love this paint color. I love the wheels. It's such a very, very beautiful design. We'll also take a look at the LED lights. So it's a combination of bulbs and LED all projected into your main headlight unit. That being said, let's close this up, take it for a spin. All right guys, so now me and Charlotte and Mark, we're all on the road with the Forte 5. We're testing this on a very windy road, a lot of country roads, and we're gonna do a little bit of city as well too. We may even take it on the highway so you can see it on highway speeds. But right now we're just taking it easy. I wanna talk a little bit about what the handling like, what the steering's like. So we're just approaching the stop right here, gonna make a right. This vehicle is super, super easy to drive. So a lot of you guys know I drive a Forte every day. The hatchback doesn't make much of a difference in terms of visibility. I do find it um, a little bit easier to see out of the back window on the Forte 5 compared to my Forte. So it's just a little bit more visible there. Uh, right now I do have Mark's head in the way, so that's a little obstacle. When it comes to handling, it handles just like my Forte. So I have the lane follow assist on right now. It's taking the curve of the road for me, so no hands on the wheel. It is such a smooth system and I really do like the way it operates. It's fantastic on country roads like this, but also on the highway, especially if you turn your cruise control on. We do have our heated seats on because it's a little chilly. Charlotte, talk a little bit about that. So we've mentioned this before, but this vehicle, it obviously does have cloth seats on, uh, in it. And the heated seats in this vehicle, they are phenomenal. And I will die on this hill. A lot of people, when they think of cloth seats, they're like, oh, you know, you're not really getting the functionality of uh, having leather. But when it comes to the heated seats, they heat it up so fast, they stay warm, and it is so comfortable too. I've been having problems with my tailbone. I feel very supported in this vehicle, and it's very comfortable to sit on as well. Mm -hmm. And then also you have your, uh, your infotainment system laid out very well. So you do have the eight inch screen here with all of your controls. So radio, media, and then track your uh, media mode that you can cycle between. And then also lots of areas for your air vents that are adjustable as well. So up and down, side to side. So no matter kind of where you're sitting is you're gonna get be able to get the proper airflow. Of course, this doesn't have the dual climate control system. It is just one, so it's one temperature in the whole vehicle, but uh, it's still very comfortable, able to get the airflow coming to you. And then also you do have a wireless phone charger, which is super great as well. Mm -hmm. We had Gabby's phone actually just on there prior to, uh, to us filming. So we were able to get a little bit of extra charge, which is always really convenient. Mm -hmm. It's even a little bit more convenient for us when we're filming these videos too, because filming in 4K, it can take up a lot of storage and battery. So that's just a really cool benefit. If you guys are using your phone and doing some interesting cinematography type stuff, that's something to consider as well. Mm -hmm. But overall, very comfortable in this vehicle. I just really love it because sometimes you forget your cords. It's just a thing. So it's, sorry guys, we just had to cross the line a little bit. We had a, I was about to say customer road, road, road pedestrian. pedestrian. So you see, do you have your lane keep assist? It does alert you when you cross over your lane. It'll also kind of adjust you as well too. Now, a lot of people think, what if you need to, you know, cross your line because there's someone on the side of the road or whatnot. 
you will still have the ability to overpower it. It's only going to give you a little bit of um, adjustment. Can, let's say if you weren't paying attention and you just happened to cross over the lane, then it would adjust you fully. But if you were physically trying to cross over the lane or avoid something, it would let you do it. So as long as there's actual force from the driver, it'll let you do whatever you got to do. You can turn that off if it's a feature that you don't like. Another feature that's in this vehicle that's kind of behind the scenes, I can't really physically show you it, is the forward collision avoidance. So if there was a vehicle ahead of me and they slammed on the brakes, or I was just approaching someone very, very quickly, and the car senses, you know what, maybe there could be a collision. It will give you an alert, and if you fail to react to the alert, it will break for you. So it's a great feature to have. It also works for pedestrians and cyclists. So forward collision avoidance is not a must-have, but a very, very appreciated feature in the Forte 5. Also, another thing I wanted to mention, this main head unit here, it does have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So I think we will connect somebody's phone and show you what that looks like and how easy it is to use as while you're driving. All right, so I just connected my phone. We did have to stop and put it into park to order in order to add it to a new phone projection. So we just stopped and, and did that. But as you can see, I've got my phone on the wireless charger now, and then it's still set up with Apple CarPlay. So it's actually a fully wireless experience in this vehicle, which is super convenient, especially if you're like a commuter and you're usually in the like in a little bit of a hurry in the morning too. So I'm gonna show how easy it is to use Apple CarPlay as well. So obviously right now it's showing our location and then where the dealership is. So that's Brantford Kia. I'm gonna start it there. And then all of a sudden we've got our nav pulled up as well. And then you can quickly cycle through your different mm -hmm. music. I was listening to Taylor Swift, Don't Judge. At Me. <laughs> and then also your calls as well. And then here, if you want to take it back to your normal kind of screen, you can just hit Kia and that'll bring you back. And then if you want to go back to CarPlay, you just hit Apple CarPlay as well. But here you can access all of your main controls. And something I'll point out because I saw a comment about this and I figured we haven't really addressed it too much is what is the sensitivity level of the screen? So personally, I find that it works, you know, it's exactly like my phone. It's an immediate reaction. Um, it's not slow. It doesn't like or anything like that when I try to do a command. So it is very fast. It is very responsive. All right. So we kicked Mark out of the car. He's going to do a quick exterior walk around. You can see the beautiful snow white pearl paint. We'll zoom in on the 16 inch alloy wheels. They're very, very nice. I love this design. It adds a lot of sporty look to the vehicle. And we'll take a look at the front of the car. Hopefully Mark is going where we're kind of talking about. You can see we have a combination of bulbs and LEDs and beautiful, beautiful headlight shapes. So this car looks very aggressive, looks very sporty, but it is a very fuel efficient, daily drivable car. Is someone coming? <laughs> Purr. Marcus. Go to Marcus. Go to Marcus. And he's just like in a cornfield. Okay, now we're going to roll off. Bye, Mark. Flooring it in reverse. Should we like dodge him? <laughs> we want to see you in IKEA. So now we're getting onto the highway. This is the 403. I have the vehicle in smart mode, which is essentially gonna switch me in between normal and sport. So as I give it more gas, it'll probably switch me to sport mode to give me that extra power that I'm asking for. The highway is a little bit busy today, so I don't know how much we'll be able to accelerate. And of course, we're gonna abide by the speed limit. And we have a really big truck in front of us too. Yeah, we do have a big truck. But there we go. So it switched it into normal mode. It was um, highlighted in green before, which makes us, um, uh, or means that it was in the eco mode of smart mode, which is gonna be a little bit more sluggish, but is gonna prioritize fuel efficiency. Now it's in white mode, which is your regular normal mode. If I give it a little bit more throttle, it will turn red eventually. There we go. Maybe not right now. I don't wanna go too, too fast. Our owner watches these videos. <laughs> And then we'll also see our steering assistants follow the curve of the road for us. 
So it is a very, very comfortable vehicle to drive on the highway. Like I mentioned, I drive a Forte. I take the highway for around half an hour almost every single day. And it is amazing, it performs really well. It's not sluggish, so it keeps up with the other cars. It's super easy to see out of and to maneuver. And it's also exceptional on fuel, so a very, very good car on gas. The uh, Forte 5 does perform a little bit better than the Kia Rio on gas on the highway as well too. So the Rio is going to be a tiny bit better in the city. The Forte is going to excel on the highway for sure. And it's also a smooth and quiet ride. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us on today's test drive video. Uh, we really love that you guys have been enjoying these videos and we like doing them too because we feel like it gives a actual real life application to what it's like owning and driving this vehicle, especially since you can't always test drive the vehicle you want just given today's circumstances. So thank you so much for joining us. And we do have some exciting news about this unit. So this 2023 Forte 5 is actually available at Brantford Kia. It is technically a pre-owned unit for pricing and information. We will leave a uh, link in the description below where you can get in touch with someone on our sales team or me, I am on the sales team. We'd be happy to help you out, walk you through pricing, options, everything. Thank you so much for watching guys. Stay tuned for our next video. And as promised, we did mention that we have done a walk around of this specific car. We will link it in the description below. Thank you. Bye.